<clears throat> Let's see what the fuck is going on with this video. Alright. If you don't have money to tip your server and you go out to eat and don't tip your server, I have zero respect for you. I am a Whoa. server making five something an hour and I live off of your tip. I don't care how much. No, you don't. I mean, you do. But you don't. The tables I have, how busy I look. I don't care. Nine times out of ten, I'm not making the money that you think I'm making. And it's crazy because there's so many servers out there and there's no awareness for this, it feels like. Like, the server industry does not get enough credit for how hard this shit is. It is not easy. It's backbreaking work. The tipping thing, uh, I don't work in the industry. And I think I to rely on that. Um, it's fun when you make tips. It's fun being on a tip when you make money. It's not when you don't, when people don't, don't tip. And the thing that people forget sometimes is that, well, here in Canada, the tipping is not mandatory, actually. It's very suggested, but it goes according to, to the service that you have. If you work at a spot and your manager doesn't put enough people on that spot, and then your tip suffers. Your, your tip suffers because you cannot cater to all those tables. Sometimes I don't tip, not because I have to tip. And some servers like take it in, they, 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 they take it as you have to tip. I actually have to tip according to the service. If your service was bad, it goes with the service. That's what the thing is with tipping. That's a fact. That's all facts. No cap. You understand? And I, I, I went to a restaurant and when one of my friends didn't tip and then the server came back and was like, was there something wrong with the service? And I think that that's the proper way to go about that. That's when you fact. don't receive the amount of tips that you think, you can be like, yeah, what was the service? Because then now that, that, that opens the dialogue and now you can feel me? You can move accordingly. You feel me? They give you a prompt response. You feel me? Respectful response. That's how you do that. And even even with the, 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 the waiter or the waitress, if that's how they come off, now you could get, you know what I'm saying? You can have an actual conversation. Like, oh, all right, look, listen. You know what I'm saying? You seem a little busy, kind of like we're all over the place, scrambling. Uh, whatever the case may be, whatever the issue is, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's what it is. You feel me? Personally, I tip. If the service is bad, like he says, I'm not going to. I may not tip what I would have tipped before. I may tip a little bit. I may not tip at all. <laughs> it's my bread. You can do what I want, bro. And if you get tight, you get tight. I'm dipping anyway. I pay my bill. I'm out of there. Was, was there something wrong with the service? If the person goes, no, then there, there goes your problem. But if the person says, yeah, there was, which my friend did. You did this, that, 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 that. Orders was wrong and that, that, that. So I'm not, I didn't give you 15. I gave you 10. You got a tip. So there's this, there's a thing about. The tipping thing, there's really a thing about that. Now, there's a, there's a whole other conversation to have if we should have tips or we shouldn't. That's a whole other conversation. I think that we shouldn't have tips. You're paid your wage, oh, and you should really? accept that. And in your... Damn, but they get paid. I ain't gonna lie. They be getting paid shit. They really... I, I, I They do kind of make it off their tips, but I, I don't even know how they be talking some people into being served, like, in the service industry. Because if they tell me, hey, look, we're paying you $5, right? But majority of your money is coming off tips. The tips is not guaranteed. It's not like every single table I get, I'm getting a guaranteed this set amount of money. Like, the tips can vary between the food, the, the, the amount of the whole, the whole bill, the, uh, uh, the service, all these other things that may or may not have anything to do with me. And like he said, let's say... Let's say your boss, right? Let's say your boss don't 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 put enough people out there. You're fucked. You know why? Because you're gonna be running from table one through six, doly, nigga, or, or one half of the room, doly by yourself. And there's no fucking way if you got two, three people there, four people here, a big party of six here, that you're gonna be able to get all of those fucking orders correct. And let's say you're not even the problem. What if let's let's say for example you pick up the wrong order or or or. Or the fucking, the chef gives you the wrong order and you take it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything can fucking happen, bro. So, me personally, I don't even know how some people do it. But at the end of the day, listen, man, a job is a job. Some people need the shit. Some people, like, make a living off it. So, I understand. But still, bro, I wouldn't do it because that shit is not guaranteed. Paycheck, it should be included. The tip should be included. That's some good truth right? shit. Yeah, facts. And then after that, if the client wants to give you more, they give you more. But exactly. other than that, that's that. That's the different conversation to have in the same, you know, thing. 
I work in a bar and grill, and I love my job. Don't get me wrong, and I'm good at what I do. But it is so degrading to get oh. stiffed. <laughs> To work so hard to smile at a table with a big smile on my face despite how stressed I am and give you good service and then get no tip. Like, I didn't just work my ass off for you. <laughs> there are good days and there are bad days and today is a bad day. And First and foremost, off topic, this woman is very beautiful. Shout out to her, whoever you are. And I think that the service industry needs better um, pay <laughs> because lately society's just not getting it. Whoa. If a stripper makes money on good days, she makes money on good days. Yeah. And on Yo. bad days. Yo. This. Wow. Sometimes she's going to be put by clients. This That's is, the name of the game. And you even though it's, it's kind of it's separate, it's separate, it's kind of the same, bro. Strippers don't get, I don't think they get paid hourly. I think they get paid off them tips. And I think they also have to pay back to the house and all this or whatever the fuck the, 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 the shit is. Where You know what I'm saying? This, I don't know what the fuck this shit is, bro. They got to pay back to, to, to certain people in the club. Maybe the DJ may get some bread. The DJ they may get some bread. Got to get some bread back to like the place that's letting them hold. So the place that's letting them dance. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think strippers get an hourly rate. Uh, hourly uh, uh, wage. You know what I'm saying? So look. Those are very similar, but obviously you. Uh, we ain't gonna he chose that game too, so we have yeah. to take that in consideration. But what do you think about that? All right, so I sympathize with her because I think times are extremely hard right now. People yeah, are I agree. A financial pinch. Yeah, and so their jobs, they count on all their pay to come in, everything. And when you have bad days, you feel the stress of it. Uh, I'm gonna say a few things. One, your stress shouldn't be directed at customers; it should be directed at the industry. Facts. Facts. Because the industry is the people that pay you. The, the customers are the people that tip you and, and put money in your pocket, but that's not guaranteed money. The job is the place that is supposed to secure the guaranteed money, and they're giving you $5 an hour. That shit is insane. They're basically telling you, look, we're going to give you this amount of money. You got to really make the money off of tips, bro. That's not guaranteed money. You can have, like, the good days. Strippers have good days. They have bad days. They have mid days. They have worse days. They have some of the best days of their life. But at the same time, you feel me? This shit is very compromised because there's no guaranteed money. And as the times progress and as times get harder, economy shifts up and down or whatever the case may be. Listen, some people don't got it. Some people do. Whatever the case may be. Like, but like you can't really be mad at the people, bro. They work for this money the same way you're working for your money. I understand you probably feel as though they owe you because they are, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the industry of the people that put you in this scenario. A little bit of yourself, accountability, but majority of the, majority of the industry, bro, they could easily pay you more money. Get a nice $15 hour, $16, 17 an hour. I'm not saying that's great. That's not horrendous, though. From $15 or $17 an hour versus the $5 you're getting as a fucking, you know what I'm saying? And in the service industry, come on. And then and imagine that amount of money plus on top of that overtime tips. You'd be great. You'd be way better off. But this shit, nah. That pays you less than what you should be paid in order to do way the job less. that you should be doing. It's less at than minimum a, wage. At a great right? So, right? On because some days, you make it way more than minimum wage because you're getting big tips. And some days, you, that's the job you decided to enter. So okay? Average, that's one. Right? That's two. I reject the notion that tipping leads to better service. Because if you believe that, that means that you believe that everywhere else we go where we don't get tips or we don't offer tips, everyone's offering subpar service or customers. That's not been my experience. And so this idea that you are rendering a service that is somehow deserving of extra money as if it was better, I've never seen it. Have y'all? So I reject this notion that tipping leads to better service. That is fucking cap. What it leads to is entire. That, 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 I don't know if y'all read that at the bottom. Let's go back real quick. That's facts. Yes, this is facts. Read this, please. Because when you when you tip more at the motherfucking, you know what I mean? And, uh, that tipping uh, leads to better service. What? That is fucking cap. What it leads to is entitlement. To degree, That's yeah. what it leads to. to degree, yeah. I've seen servers get upset at people for not tipping. Guess what? Bro, I look at the bill. She mad and there's no tip. There's a gratuity. Too. 
That's what I mean. If that's the case, like I said, bro, they should just get paid gratuity, bro. Let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a bean. Because at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, people work for this money, man. People work for this money. So come on, let's let's be for real for two seconds here, man. That's already included in the yeah, exactly. nigga. Speak on it. Yep. How are you gonna expect a tip when you've already included a tip? I tip every time I go out because that's a social norm. All right? I'm not going to be out here looking crazy. You're not going to be a fucking whole thing. Okay? Right? I just reject the notion that it makes the service better or that this is how it should be. Like, everywhere else around the world, they work it out with no tips expected, but you want to act like here this shit's normal. This is what we've established as a system. It's a stupid and broken system. I play by the rules because I live here, okay? But I don't make any illusions about, oh, the server, it's not. And you're lying to yourself if you think it is. I know servers who work at some restaurants where they're making more than, like, People working in medical fields, people working in... like They make a lot of money doing service work. That's the highs. I was going to say, that's that, and that's probably on the, on the, on the good to end, on the, on, the, on the better days, you feel what I'm saying? There's a, it's a lot of things that come, you feel me? The, 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 the customers you bring in there, where you work at, you feel me? The name brand, that shit all matters, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, because, I mean, making more than people in the medical field, fuck. Guess what? Somebody got to experience the lows. Of course. But don't get mad at the regular customer when your employer is not subsidizing your wage. That's a, their mistake, not ours. That's all I'm going to say. But it is so degrading to get stiffed, <laughs> to work so hard, to smile at a table with a big smile on my face despite how stressed I am. Gorgeous, by the way, sweetheart. Hopefully you see this video. You're gorgeous. No hate towards you. No shit like that. It's just, you feel me? Sometimes it, this shit is pointed in the wrong direction, which is understandable. But at the same time, I'm not even going to say you signed up for this shit because I'm pretty sure you already know that. But is it really that they're not tipping at all or if they're not tipping good? What's, what would be good in your mind? Like, are you basing your tip based off of your service or based off of the bill? You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it, it's a lot of different things that you, you'd be basing your tip off. Of. Just, just quick correction. I you have to smile at customers and pretend like your day is good. Welcome to having a job. <laughs> I actually switched from Chrome to Opera GX a while ago just because I was so tired of Chrome being the absurd resource hog. Is it because? Is it because? Like, no, no, no. Personally, though, I never got into the service injury for that exact reason. Not just in here, like, like, as far as being a waiter or waitress. McDonald's, on, and it's not because I look down on those places. You feel me? I feel like anybody that can work in that industry. You are, you have a skill thing, you have a skill and patience that I lack because I couldn't do it. I know I couldn't do it. I know myself. I get too aggravated. I get too frustrated. I wouldn't be able to deal with people because I see how customers act when I just go in the spot on a regular. Niggas be dickheads. Niggas be dickheads, bro. I don't got time for that. Niggas is going to be, you know, I'm going to end up fighting. I'm going to be doing ah, ah, whatever the case may be. So I don't even partake in that, in, 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 in that set scenery. You feel me? I'm, I'm far removed from that, but anybody that does do it, man. Shout out to you. You are among some of the most, uh, the, the bravest and, and some of the, some of the serial, uh, serial, some of the superheroes among us, bro, because I couldn't do it, bro. Y'all doing a job that not many people could fucking do. Well, no, no. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to having a job. Yeah, Whose job, a job do you think goes into work not I, feeling I great that, and don't have to smile and offer good customer service? I think that's America. Because that's one thing, like, we did the video on America, good and bad and shit. But sometimes the service in America, Jesus Christ, do we even like your job? No, <laughs> most, oh, excuse me. Most of them don't, man. Most of them fucking don't. Let's keep it a bean. I'm going to go ahead and end that shit here, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about uh, waiters and waitresses and uh, the tip industry and uh, well, the service industry in general, how you feel about their tips. What do you think they should be getting paid? What do you think they shouldn't get, be, shouldn't get getting paid? Do you think the gratu gratuity should be in all right, you feel me? Put in the in the uh, in the bill. What's going on, man? Talk to me. What's, how y'all feel about this shit?